My name is Michael Sharp. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of Jamoki Academy Charter Schools. My name is Doreen Crawford, and my school is Jamoki Academy. I like to jokingly say, we've kidnapped their kids. I mean, they're here from 7 until 6 p.m. We have them on Friday nights. We have them on weekends. We have uh, Saturday Academy. Then we have six weeks of summer school and summer camp. So they got to deal with us. They've got to come through the doors because their kids are here. I make phone calls every single night. So um, not, not just the ones where I have concerns, but hey, you know, I noticed that, you know, Johnny's coming to school in complete uniform, you know, and I just, if he's been having a problem in the past with wearing his tie, you know, I just want to say good job, you know. So it's, you know, it's, it's motivating the parents, letting them know that I really appreciate their support. The most important role is to have that positive relationship not only with staff and students, but also with parents. We let the parents know that they are, you know, a big part of what we're doing here. And so um, I think it, it's contributed majorly to our success. This is the most professional staff I've ever worked with. Everyone, it, uh, you, you can just see it with everyone. Everyone genuinely cares about the kids. And it's contagious. What we, what we do in our teacher selection is that we try to get the very best teachers, teachers who are dedicated, teachers who are committed to high expectation for their students, teachers who want to make a difference in the lives of their, of their students. But last year, every single one of our teachers signed on to come back. The year before, I think all but one signed on to come back. And we try to show that there's a really good working atmosphere for teachers to come here. Um, we're very, very supportive of our teachers. Talk to teachers, find out what their concerns are, what resources they need in order to be effective in the classroom. I do a lot of that one-on-one -on -one with teachers to make sure they have the best materials and they have the best opportunities. Make sure if a teacher comes in and says, I need this in their classroom, if we can't afford it, um, I will personally go out and try to raise money and so forth and so on to get it for the classroom teacher. But also outside of the school, if there's anything that we see that we would like to use or find out more about to enhance our teaching, whether it's in reading, writing, whatever, um, we're able to go and attend those sessions. You have to find out what the shortcomings are that your kids are walking through the door with. If it's, if it's clothing, if it's child care, if it's having activities after school that are, that are positive, you've got to fill that gap. We do pacing guide, we do tutoring, we do our Saturday Academy on Saturdays. And it's amazing what turnout we get because, you know, parents love it. They love that their kids are coming in and getting that extra help. And it's not, it is, it's not like just another school day. It's actually something that the kids enjoy coming to because when I first heard about Saturday Academy I'm like what what kids gonna want to come to school on Saturday but they love it you know and the kids can't wait for it and um, it's a good thing we have a variety of things that we've put in place to support learning in the morning uh, times we do activities with them they do songs they do uh, games and types of things that you might do at home if a parent had wasn't working two or three jobs and in the afternoon, we ensure that they have a homework club, then they have uh, activities, uh, and we try to give them a variety of activities that will enrich their, their uh, experience. Every member of the faculty here, everyone from administration to the custodians, everyone shows every child that they do have high expectations for them. And um, it's just a natural thing, you know. And since we started implementing these, these kinds of warm, fuzzy things, the scores have gone from 70% below basic to 70% above uh, or, or at, at uh, proficiency or above in many of the subjects. So we've seen a constant growth of children's academic performance uh, as we've implemented some of those warm and fuzzies.